In this tutorial, we will be learning how to write a possible rational equation from x-intercepts. When writing an equation of a rational function, the location of the x-intercepts are found in the numerator. Each x-intercept is accounted for by adding a factor. Here is our basic rational function of y equals 1 over x. There are no x-intercepts. If we add an x minus 1 to the numerator, we get a rational function with an x-intercept at x equals 1 now. When writing a possible equation for a rational function, there are no limits to the number of x-intercepts a function can have. Previously, we started with an example with 0 x-intercepts, and then added 1 intercept. Here is an example with 5 x-intercepts. When looking at the equation, we can see that each factor in the numerator lines up with an x-intercept in the graph of the function. We have int x-intercepts at x equals negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and 5. Here is an opportunity for you to practice. Consider the following two examples. Press pause, write out possible rational equations for each, then, when you're ready, press play to check your answer. In the first example, you are asked to write a possible rational equation with x-intercepts at x equals negative 2, 4, and 5. We begin by writing our basic rational function, but leave the numerator blank. Now, add in a factor for the location of each x-intercept. The first factor is x plus 2 for the x-intercept at x equals negative 2. Then, add a factor of x minus 4 for the intercept at x equals 4, and finally, a factor of x minus 5 for the intercept at x equals 5. In the second example, we have a graph of a rational function with x-intercepts at x equals negative 1 and x equals 1. Therefore, we add factors of x plus 1 and x minus 1 in the numerator for these. In this lesson, you learned how to write a rational equation based on the location of the x-intercepts. You learned that the x-intercepts are written in the numerator as factors with each factor representing an x-intercept and its location.